the Lord. You know, you just, yeah, I have a, he's got us, he's, he's protecting us, he protected us today. Cheryl Fassion watched in disbelief as Cruz carefully hooked up this SUV and pulled it out of her home. The remaining damage is a frightening reminder of a close call early Monday morning when the vehicle hit a curb and catapulted through Fassion's front wall as she slept upstairs. Went airborne, took out our flagpole, went through the whole front of the house, Missed my husband by maybe a foot or two because he was laying on the couch. If he had been in the love seat, he'd, he'd be gone. Instead, the crash merely left her husband with a scratch on his head. Yeah, we've been married 50, well, it's going on 52 years. So I'm just thankful he's, he's okay. He's okay. He's just shooken up. Now Fassion and her husband are left to face a devastating new reality. The house they've called home for more than 30 years on Iowa and Arizona in Livonia will need extensive repairs. I just had a lot of stuff done. I had just had the floors redone, just had all new beautiful new window treatments, kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do. A battalion chief with the Livonia Fire Department says the home has heavy structural damage. You just see it. And I think you think about, okay, what, what's gone forever and what, um, where we go from here. As Fassion left with what appeared to be belongings put in a trash bag, she wonders if her insurance company will step up. Are they going to take care of us? That's my prayer, that we won't have... You know, I mean, not only the trouble and the pain of trying to replace stuff, but then will they take care of us? So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Giving you a closer look at that damage as crews begin to make the initial repairs. Right now, Livonia police are continuing their investigation. They don't know exactly how fast that driver was going just yet or if drugs or alcohol were involved. And also get this, the couple, one of their sons is actually a Livonia firefighter who responded to the call here at his childhood home. No doubt he's incredibly thankful both his parents are okay. In Livonia, Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News.